A little bit of business. I ne- you might notice if you've been here a while, I never tell you to click like, subscribe, smash that bell, hit that like button. I never do that because it's annoying. Tootsie fruitsie. I understand. If you like it, you're going to do it. You understand how this works. You've been here long enough. Begging you just gets on your nerves. I get it. But this is something you guys have actually asked for. So now I'm going to put this a little bit on you. Um, Y'all wanted an archive for my game streams and for tech Q&A that we do on Saturdays. So because of the algorithm here on YouTube, if you ever try to do anything new and different, the algorithm punishes you for it. So every channel has to, if you do a channel, you have to do the exact same thing forever or you lose everything. It's, it's wonderful. It's a great system. So what I did was in order to set this apart so you guys can see stuff like you wanted, I started a sub channel and there will be a link to it here and it will be down in the description of the video once it goes up on YouTube. Um, it's for Radio Dead Air Tech. That will be there. Please, 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 please go and subscribe to it. Please, because I have to hit a thousand subscribers to get that monetized. I would very much appreciate it. it it's I just the one time I'm asking you to click on a thing. Let's see if we can get you to do it. Let's see if you could go against the basic nature of people online who never click on a damn thing, even if it's free. It's like pulling teeth. To quote, to quote the cinematic classic Rush Hour, push a gun button. If you could, I would appreciate it greatly. Thank you so much. Seriously, enough for real. It'd be a big help. And there'll be more stuff there. Now, as I was, there would have been more stuff already. But I got derailed a little last week. I know we're, we're I'm all, there's a lot going on this week. So it's Friday morning, it's a big, long story. I won't get entirely into it. But Friday morning, I went out to feed the, uh, the outdoor cats, the, the community cats we look after. And, um, well, this happened. <laughs> and they shape-shifted. I know the video sideways, but okay, so these are not my dogs. A, a bunch of they just appeared this morning in the yard. They have no chips. They are super friendly. And a bunch of dogs. That's all I had. No idea what to do. Yeah, no, I mean, oh my god, it's better than not eating at all. No collars, no chips. How's your morning? Dirty, happy to be alive, just as dogs are wont to do. Threw my whole night out of whack because Sarah, she works over at the shelter. She had to walk me through how to take care of them. And we had to call and get animal control out here. And they'd never been on a leash before. So they, they do this thing. <laughs> dogs. It's one of the most unsettling noises you can experience. Dogs scream when they're really scared yeah. and unhappy. I it didn't hear that. Upsetting. They were fine. Otherwise, we they, no. didn't want, they didn't want to deal with the leashes. But you just let, they let us pick them up and just like, no big deal. Just like, put, the, put you in the thing. At least they were friendly. And like, luckily, they made their way to you. Yeah. And Sarah, who works at a shelter, like they made their way to people who were equipped to help them. Which is wonderful. Yeah, they, they, we 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 found out where they came from. They uh they broke out of their yard nearby. Their owner sat and got them collars or chips or anything yet. They have chips now. It's just I yeah they have they they have to have chips when they leave the shelter. They have chips on them, and they've gotten fixed as well. So they weren't fixed. They weren't they weren't neutered either. Nope. The the one a uh, a. Uh, Boy and two girls, none of them were fixed. I I have a neighbor who has a cat that spends most of his day between my porch and a friend of mine's porch. And I don't know why they just let this poor cat wander around. And like between the two of us, we kind of keep an eye on him. But we worry about him like... And he had a collar for like two weeks and he lost it. So my, <laughs> I've had a lot of stuff going on lately. Just, just take, so, care, take care of your babies. If yeah. you have little fuzzy babies, 
Please take care of them. You are the whole of their world. Yeah. And they need you. So yeah, that 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 was all that was was going on. How so yeah, that's all right. We have to get to the stuff because we have things and time and what's that coming to go? Do business. Yeah. Anyway. Get the intro rolling. Because of course we have more horrible Nine. as we are wont to do every week. Each week, Catherine, the radio dot air audience about the worldwide interwebs. Find all sorts of horrible stuff, bring back your full segment we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong? Crazy. We're gonna start off which Springfield is this? There this is the Illinois one. Oh, I used to live near there. Okay. There's some it, it this is a joke in America. We have like twenty thousand places named Springfield. It's it's bizarre. Um didn't they have a contest to determine which one would get to be like the Simpson Springfield? It seems like, like 20 years ago. It seems like this one might have been in the running, actually. Um <laughs> this is from Springfield, Illinois. I've never been to jail. I never want to go to jail. And it seems to me like after experiencing jail, I would not want to go back. But this dude wanted to go, got real anxious to have another go, I guess. Springfield man arrested 15 minutes after release from police custody. Is that a fucking record? That's, that's just, that's quick. I'm trying to get this on the screen there. Um, a Springfield man is back behind bars. After law enforcement officials say he committed another crime just minutes after being released from custody. The Sangamon County Sheriff's Office said James Kirst, 45, was arrested on Friday uh, for criminal trespassing. He was released uh, at 7.35 p.m. with a notice to appear in court. Fifteen minutes later, at 7.49, officials say Kirst called uh, Sangamon County Central Dispatch and told them he had thrown a metal pole through the front entrance of the Sangamon County building. The damage cost $3,500 to repair. He called on himself? He called on himself, which is... Did, did you forget your keys? Why? I mean... I mean... Yep. I guess, I guess points for being really early for your court date. But you do, in fact, have to wait until they open the building. <laughs> Curse was arrested in the nearby Wyndham Hotel without incident, was returned to county jail, was charged with criminal damage to government-supported property over $500, class three felony. Officials say Curse has 42 previous arrests and charges from other crimes. He remains in custody as he refused to attend his first court appearance. I'm confused. I am too. Now there is a, there is a psychological thing that happens to people who are incarcerated for a long time. Yeah. Where it's... they they develop a phobia yeah. of release because they're so used to the routine of prison. But it doesn't sound like he was in like they had just picked him up that day. Yep. This doesn't sound like an Ian McShane and Death Race situation. No. Nope. There's a deep cut. Yeah. I, you know. <laughs> so so what happened here? I don't know. This is one of those those stories that's so frustrating because you get everything but the reason. You know? Like that's that's not what double jeopardy means. No, that's not. It's it's it, if the, it's not like if it's you do well, crimes. I got arrested once today. Not allowed to arrest me twice. No, yeah, they, they are. They can. That's it's, not it's, what it means. It's, it's... Fucking hell! I just <laughs> like goddamn. And at least yeah. make them work for it. If you're honest about it, it doesn't make it go any easier on you. No. 
Well, yeah, another one. Like, I mean, props to you for wasting the cops' time, but yeah, Meekum put some effort in. Next up is from uh, Florida. I we keep seeing a what lot. What do we do without Florida? I'd, I'd probably be a lot happier as a nation, actually. Probably. Yeah, just like so, just so much better off. So much. Um. One thing we keep seeing from Florida a lot are these fraud type cases. I don't know how they work so easily down there, but it's really, really easy, apparently. I mean, you've seen who they made the governor down there, right? Uh, this is fair. Florida man buys Porsche with check printed from home computer. Okay. A wee Wakata man, I think I said that right, uh, walked into a car dealership in Oklahoma County and left in a Porsche after paying with a check printed from his home computer. Casey William Kelly was uh, arrested Wednesday for grand theft of motor vehicle and uttering a, a false bank note. That is a great way of uttering a false bank note. Uttering. That, that's, that's, I don't know. Understand that how that works. Means, that means speaking. I know. He also tried to buy, buy Rolex watches with a bad check. During the investigation, it was determined that Kelly had purchased a Porsche 911 Turbo from a Porsche dealership in Destin using a fraudulent check written for $139,000. Um, Porsche was reported stolen to the Okaloosa County Sheriff's Office. The next day, Kelly presented a check for the amount of a 61521 to a jeweler in Miramar Beach in an attempt to purchase three Rolex watches. When arrested Wednesday afternoon, Kelly told investigators uh, he printed out the cashier's check from his home computer and did not get them from the bank. Well, points for honesty, I guess. I don't. I I have I have purchased a car with a cashier's check, hmm. and they they check it. Yeah, this is a little bit of an older story, but it, it's kind of slipped through the their cracks. Ass. On this. Like it's their ass if they well, don't. The, well, the people at the Porsche dealership, it probably was there. It's just, I, I love how the Porsche dealership was like, yep, here's your car. The Rolex dealership was like, hold on a second. Rolex dealership, Rolex their jewelry store, I guess. Like, I hit more scrutiny buying a fucking Honda Fit. <laughs> right? They ran a fucking 30 point inspection on that check. And you'd for think, a Honda Fit. You'd think a Porsche dealership would see a lot of cashier's checks over the years. Right? It's a Porsche. It's a rich people play yeah. toy. You'd think they'd be used to seeing cashier's checks. And this dude just slaps one together in what? Photoshop or some shit? And Microsoft Paint? And the guy's like, okay, looks good to me. Like, you got the, the fonts are like seven different fonts all over the different thing. Part of it's in Comic Sans. Yep, there you go. Looks good. That looks great. Uh your okay, so let's show, your ego is writing checks your butt can't cash. Kinda, yeah. I just I don't maybe it, he works at maybe he works at Marla. I also love how he like, well, it worked once, why not again? Maybe this is how checks work. Yeah. Maybe people just make them and then just wasn't that an episode of Perfect Strangers? Balky just about they give Balky a checkbook and he thinks it's just like free money and he refurnishes their whole apartment. And the cousin is like, Where did you, how did you pay for all this? And he goes, Chooks. Okay, Tara. Because nobody explained to him you have to have the money to back up the check. There's a whole bunch of people right now going, Perfect what? Yeah, they, they don't know. TGI Fridays, kids. TGI that was, Fridays. That was a great show. You're miss, you guys missed out. All right. Next up, this, this, okay. We, here is a heaping helping of fuck this guy. Just fuck this guy. We have all had relationship issues. Sometimes 
We deal with things badly. Cool. Sure. We're no, no one's no one's perfect. However, no. This I would think is a bit of an escalation. You actually get arrested for that shit. From Donegal. Man who threatened to publish intimate image of a woman after he was locked out of her Netflix account is sure. jailed. man has been jailed for 18 months after he threatened to publish an intimate image of a woman after she locked him out of her Netflix account. Steven, now, in his defense, mm -hmm. the trains in Ireland do not run to Donegal. <laughs> There's no rail line in or out of Donegal. So if, if you don't have a car, it can get a little boring, I suppose. Stephen Coveney Ryan appeared at Leonard Kenny uh, Circuit Court on Thursday for sentencing after he previously pled guilty to the offense, pleaded, whatever. 27-year-old is charged that on January 23rd, 2022, at an unknown place, did threaten to distribute or publish an intimate image without the consent of another person with the intent to cause harm or being reckless as to whether harm is caused, blah, 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 blah. Victim attended the uh, guard station on March 6th and 7th to make a complaint. Court heard the pair had communicated previously on social media channels, but stopped communication. But the defendant continued to access the victim's Netflix account, which you can tell when people are doing that because it shows you keep watching. So immediately she's like, this motherfucker. Yeah. The gall. I had a dude so irrever, like, fuck up my Netflix recommendations for years. <laughs> It took years to undo the damage. That's because he would they, watch twenty minutes of every shitty movie. They they didn't have <laughs> they didn't have accounts for a while. It was like all one thing, and then they had different people. You could, but for yeah, on March seventh, the victim. I do love I do love the gentility of the Irish. The victim attended the Garda station. Yeah, <laughs> like it was a party. Uh, she, they advised the victim to change her password and cease all cease all communication with the defendant. On March 7, 2022, the victim noticed she had received messages from a page using the name John McGinnis on Facebook, a name that was previously used by Ryan at times. All right, that's a giant red flag, ladies. Dude should not have aliases. No. Screenshot of the message were presented to the judge. The message contained an intimate image of the victim that Ryan's would have access to under the picture. Another message said, let me back into Netflix or every account I have will start sharing this. Other messages said, I started by sending your friends and family. You have three hours to get back to me, or the first person I sent it to will be sent in three hours. A further message read, fuck with me, and I will kill you today, girl. Now, what you are doing here, aside from being really fucked up, is creating something that lawyers like to call evidence. Mm-hmm. It's, 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 it's proof of your activities. I mean, never, we all know that this guy is a five alarm asshole. Oh, right? yeah. Like, oh, God. Straight, straight piece of shit. But also, what is the point of using your secondary account uh -huh. under your fake name? Yeah. To send someone a picture that only you would have. Right. And make demands that only you would make. Yep. Like she, we're, we all know it's you. Yeah, we know. Yeah, it's, 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 the, <laughs> you see, I want to just try just a little, uh, we'll call a little, little, little basic economics here. Um, What's a Netflix account run these days? 15 bucks, something like that. Something like that. Something like that. It's really expensive these days. They charge you extra to share it now. Yeah. 15 bucks for a Netflix account. Right. You can go and get your own Netflix account. $15. Heck, it was it was 2022 when this started. He got sentenced now. Uh, I guess in 20, you could have, what was it? 10 bucks, 12 bucks, something like that. You could have just gotten your own. Now, however, you're going to jail. And you're not going to have a job. 
and you have to pay the or Netflix. lawyer or Netflix. You don't get Netflix in jail. You get whatever Tony wants to watch. And you don't mess with Tony. I don't know if there's not, I don't know if there's a lot of inmates named Tony in Donegal. <laughs> he's got he's got arms that are like this Both. big around and he really loves the Great British Bake Off. That's what you're watching for for the next year and a half. You know, I can live with that. <laughs> if you said to me tomorrow, like, you're just going to sit in a room and watch Great British Bake Off for the next 18 months. Okay. <laughs> they're, they're, they're worse fates, man. Just... The 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 absolute state of you, for fuck's sake, sir! I could yeah, even. You are I an am, absolute piece of shit. Just an I, utter I guess piece of I'm, shit. there are people named Anthony in Ireland. I'm kidding. It's a, you know it. I I stereotype. Just, I it's could joke. not fucking imagine going to this lengths. Like I'm not saying I haven't been pissed off at people before. I haven't said I haven't been pissed off at people I've been in a relationship before. I have Prison. never. Been. I just googled what's on Netflix in Ireland worth going to jail for, and even the AI was like, "Nah, no results there." <laughs> dairy girls. <laughs> they have dairy girls. Damn it! <laughs> Come on now. Uh, and that serial killer show with Jamie Dornan and Gillian Anderson that I've never watched, but keep meaning to. Oh, well, we're headed to, where was this? Oh, it's Florida again. Good God. St. Petersburg. Fucking St. Petersburg, Florida. Um, Yeah, this is back to our normal shit. We gotta have somebody taking off all the goddamn clothes, don't we? God damn it. <laughs> Naked woman in convenience store rampage. Naked our woman. bread and butter. Naked woman wheeling a sharp-edged vegetable peeler. Threatened convenience store workers destroyed a Red Bull display and masturbated in front of sheriff's deputies before being taken into custody last night on a variety of criminal charges. You don't say a variety. Hopefully not with the vegetable peeler. God, no. Investigators allege that Celia Barrett, 35, caused a drunken disturbance Sunday evening at a racetrack in St. Petersburg. Upon arriving sans clothes at the store, Barrett began yelling about uh, about being trespassed from the business the prior day. So she had already been kicked well, out yes, once. What? Saturday, police warned Barrett that if she would be subject to arrest if she returned to racetrack. As detailed in a series of criminal complaints, after Barrett, peeler in hand, showed up at the store around 6.40 p.m., she threatened two workers, one of whom told police that Barrett said she would kill him. Barrett, seen above, proceeded to topple and break a display of Red Bull energy drinks and spill cigarettes from a carton she tore open. When officers arrived at the racetrack, Barrett was still inside and still naked. Prior to being taken into custody, Barrett began masturbating in front of deputies. Barrett reportedly admitted to being intoxicated, saying she had consumed approximately six shots of liquor. I'm a fucking lightweight. <laughs> Okay. I'm a goddamn lightweight. Uh, and I have had the six shots or the equivalent of over uh, the course of an evening. Nowhere close to this. Okay, okay, okay. No, but there not are, even in the neighborhood. Are we talking six shots of like vodka? Or six shots of Bailey's or six shots of Everclear, right? Because there's a range. I guess. I and, guess. You know, we have options. Also, can we talk about the weapon of choice? Because <laughs> a peeler. A vegetable peeler. Just, is it sharp for stabbing? Yeah, you, you you're gonna you you want to kill somebody with that, it's gonna take you some time. Yeah. You're going to have to shuck a man alive. <laughs> right. Like, <laughs> I will give you the worst road rash of your life. 
Not, I mean, not a great choice of weapon. You're better off just stealing one of those wiffle bats they tend to sell at convenience stores. I mean, I don't know why the masturbation demonstration, I don't know what that accomplished. I don't know why the article had to point out that she was still naked. Like, did she suddenly, like, become clothed? Nah, just, just the whole time. What the fuck? Six shots of liquor. Christ. Well, next up, th there is a certain mentality of dude. I was about to say old dude, but no, this is kind of kind of stretches throughout dude's life. That if things don't go the way they think it's supposed to go, that they're entitled to make some big dramatic demonstration. And that's apparently how the law works. And I'm sorry, dude. I, I've never, I, I'm saying dudes, it's very general, but I've never seen a woman do anything like this or anyone who presents as a woman do anything like this. So. I say this as, as, as someone who owns all her albums, Taylor Swift. Really? Have you ever seen her at a microphone when a room doesn't laugh at her joke? Okay, but... It's not great. I have never seen Taylor Swift pull out fucking ordinance. Man parks tank at store to protest poor quality work. You know... If she pulls that out on the Eras tour, I will honestly be psyched. Man who has parked a tank outside a Wix home improvement store in protest over a kitchen has been told it would be moved in 14 days, but he says he's not budging. Paul Gimmons, 63, drove the vehicle to the Basingstoke store in a row over some work. Row, I guess row, what, whatever. Fed up, Paul has demanded a refund from Wix for his poor quality 25 thousand pound kitchen installation he says he's been plagued with issues including mold under the sink badly fitting units with a poor finish and one heavy drawer nearly collapsing on his dog totally justified that they almost hurt his dog a tank a fucking tank Run the tank through the store they almost hurt his dog not just a take, he had a sign made. He had a s warning incompetent, complacent kitchen equipment supplier. And also, if you look down there on the far right, near the, near the angry face, number one, there's a bolt going through the eye of the angry face that holds <laughs> hold the sign onto the tank. And also, there's a sign that says, interference with this sign will be treated as criminal damage. Paul says he's not going where he, anywhere. He said, quote, I intend to say as long as it takes for justice. I find it bizarre which can choose which bits of the law they will obey. The tank is there as a peaceful protest, which, you know, that's, I, that's a common thing in human history. Whenever we want a peaceful protest, yeah. we bring out a fucking tank. That's the international When I see sign. a tank, I just think... Ah, peace. Just makes me feel tranquil seeing a tank. I appreciate that he cosplayed too. He wore like right all olive drab and his willies pulled up over his pants. You notice that there's nothing. There's one thing that's not mentioned anywhere in his his tale, and that is trying to find a fucking lawyer. Or, you know, why he owns the tank? That, too. This, this is like, I mean, if it was America, you'd know what he'd have. But I guess this is the next best thing. I... Can you imagine <laughs> being, like, at work? Yeah. And, and just, just a tank rolls up? Hey, boss. And the guy gets out and just sets up shop. Boss. With his little side. Boss, there's a tank in the parking lot, boss. Is, do we have this? Is this in the employee manual? 
How do we handle this one? Do we have a do we have some kind of event going on? Are, are we are we at war? Just sir? Lawyer first. You know what? I could kind of understand tank, but only after way after lawyer. You know? <laughs> I feel like the lawyer would probably tell you not to do the tank. Because now what's going to happen is they're going to take the tank away. And now you'll still have a busted kitchen, but you also won't have a tank. So you played the, you've played your tank card. It's done. It's you're, you're, you, you got nothing go all, else. You don't go all in on the first hand. Right. Well, was last one tonight. We had a lot from the UK and, and, and Ireland for this week. This guy. It makes it special that I've been at this airport, which makes it even more. <laughs> I almost can't read this. It's too good. It's too like, okay. Immediately. You couldn't bring them here because well, Kinder eggs are illegal in America. They're not safe for children. Nope. Man arrested. Now the AR-15. <laughs> Man arrested at Manchester Airport after trying to fly to Dubai with Kinder Surprise eggs in his bum. Man was arrested. That's not the surprise. Man was arrested after he was caught at Manchester Airport with Kinder Surprise eggs full of drugs hidden up his bum. Michael Whitty was also detained. multiple, multiple, plural, plural, detained at the airport as he tried to catch a flight to Dubai after catching the attention of sniffer dogs in operation. So you just have to sniffer dogs. So suddenly, I mean, any dog is going to sniff your butt, but when the airport dog sniffs your butt, and it's a, a whole different ball game. They're really interested in your butt, like. Yeah. And what are you going to say? Uh, I, I I don't wipe properly. What the fuck are you going to do there? I don't. There is a subset of dudes who think That's that true. washing your own butt makes you gay. That's so, true. You know. They're not one of them, thank God. Jesus. That's where we're at as a species. Yeah. Did you see the mold? The the bat the boy the mold boyfriend over on Blue Sky it was the thing that went around. Like, no, th this 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 woman's boyfriend had like this bathroom stall full of mold, and she's like, "I don't know what to do with my boyfriend." I'm like, "Well, he shouldn't be your." Why boyfriend. is he still your boyfriend? <laughs> That's just dudes. That's just dudes being dudes. There you go. Uh, you that... don't need a boyfriend that bad. <laughs> the 25 year old was taken to uh, Withenshaw Hospital following his arrest, but he refused to comply with body scans. Once transferred into custody, in the custody, no contraband was discovered during a strip search. But he later went to the toilet in his cell, after which two Kinder eggs wrapped in cling film were recovered. When opened, the capsules contained 40 ecstasy, ecstasy tabs and 31 grams of ketamine. Was he going to meet Elon? <laughs> he was flying to Dubai. Dubai. He was. I'm just saying. When he then produced a small package containing 12 grams of cocaine, around 77% upon using the facilities again on May 14th. So he just had a whole pharmacy crammed up his colon. But was that a different day? It yeah, was that a was different two days day. Later. Two days later. He's just he just had a just a conga line up his butt. Witty subsequently claimed they had been for personal use during his two to three week trip abroad, and he was a, quote, heavy user who was reliant on them. He also said his friends had brought his one way, bought his one way ticket, surprising him with this the day before his scheduled tra travel. <laughs> I just, oh no, your honor, I just really want to do a whole lot of drugs over the next three weeks. I just really. I, I can't function without ecstasy, ketamine, and, and cocaine. cocaine. 
again, are we talking about Elon here? I'm just saying. I'm just fucking saying. Like, dude. How many Kinder Eggs did you put up your butt? How long is the flight from <laughs> Manchester to Dubai? Probably at least four or five hours. That's a long way. I carried this uncomfortable hunk of plastic up my ass. <laughs> what did he do with the toys? What did he do with the toys? <laughs> like sitting on an airplane is uncomfortable enough. <laughs> right. He had a lot. Of, two days later, another one came out. Two days. That is just God have mercy. This I, is a series of, of judgment of, of moments that should make you just question your judgment every step of the fucking way. And apparently no point did you hit. There's like red lights the whole way and never stopped once. Uh, I don't know if there's an amount of money that someone could asked, offer me. Did he put the toys in his butt too? I just need you to put this bag of cocaine and two Kinder Eggs up your ass and fly for five hours, and then you're going to make a million dollars. Now I'm good. Now I'm good. I'm perfectly I'm good. Right. That's that's. I no, would thank not... you. Holy God, have mercy! What in the entire fuck? And look, look at that is the mugshot of someone who has got everything crammed up his ass. Look at him. Just Those look at that face. open easily when pressed. I thought that too, but it does specify that he Cling wrapped wrap, them in yeah, cling he wrapped wrap. them up. Had to make them, you know, water. At least, you know, he probably did not get any seepage, I guess, way of putting it. Uh, yeah. And the funny part is that, that, that if, he, if, he, if he'd showed up in America with those, it'd been like, well, which do we bust him for first? The eggs or the drugs? Right. That was, that was one of the best Sir, things. These aren't safe for children. It's it's a weird thing. One of the best things I ever had about going to the UK was like, I could have all the Kinder Eggs I wanted. Nobody could stop me. It was wonderful. We have like a modified version. They suck. They suck so bad. They suck. They're terrible. I tried it. I got. It's not the same. It's not the same. Yeah. It's like the difference between Coke and RC Cola. It's not the same. <laughs> anyway. So, yeah, the things we learned, nothing, there is not a crime worth shoving things up your butt. And don't be like in you're the gonna comments. Miss, somebody's going to be. Gonna you're going to miss your colon. Somebody's going to be in the comments being like, okay, but what if, but what if to save the world, like, like there was a little girl tied to a bomb. And what if in order to do that, they had to shove like a baseball bat up your ass? Would you do? Fuck you. No. Kinder eggs aren't meant to go there. Mm -mm. That's just two, that, that. two days between extractions. Two days. That's what I, that's what I find most distressing, honestly. Yeah. It's the two days in between. We've learned that. You need a little less ketamine and a little more fiber. <laughs> We've learned that your first step in dealing with a civil dispute should be lawyer, not tank. I'm not sure where tank falls in the order of operations, but I'm sure it's not first. No. We've learned. Certainly not first. We've learned that if you've already gotten your ass kicked out of the racetrack convenience store once, you lose. There's there's no winning this situation. The scenario is over. Don't come back with your junk out. That's not going to make it any better. <laughs> well, they kicked me out. I know how to solve this. A potato peeler and my vulva. <laughs> We've learned that, uh, you know, if you have a really bad breakup, let the Netflix account go. Just let it go, man. Because, brother, it's gone. 
<sighs> and, you know, and just try being less of a piece of crap. Jesus, what a piece of shit. Threatening revenge porn because you couldn't watch what? Fucking Zack Snyder's Star Wars? What the fuck? <laughs> We've learned that if you want to buy something in Florida, just print a check. It doesn't matter. They'll they'll let you just walk away with anything, apparently. Finally, with just not at Disney. They don't fuck Disney. around. No, Disney. Well, Disney has their own money, so it's different. They they have their own they have their own underground jail. They have their own police. They have the whole nine yards. It's crazy over there. Mi Mickey will fuck you up. Finally, we've learned. Maybe after, if you really want to go back to jail, give it more than fifteen minutes, man. That's just that that's that's just gratuitous at that point. Or at least like make them work for it. Make them work. Always make them work for it. It's your tax dollars at work, people. Yes. Make them earn that make shit. Make them earn though. I mean, they never will, they're cops, but still. <sighs> Can you imagine that guy's cellmate? What are you doing over there? Man, oh my, oh, oh God, what did you eat? <laughs>